Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a compound inequality with and. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here. It's a little more difficult than our previous problem. Solve 3 times 2x plus 5, in parentheses, is less than or equal to 18, and 2 times x minus 7, in parentheses, is less than a negative 6. We want to graph, period right there, the solution and write the solution in interval notation. So first thing here is I'm going to take each one of these inequalities and solve them. We're going to get x by, it's, excuse me, by itself. So we have 3 here, 2x, plus 5 is less than or equal to 18. Well, opposite of I can either distribute the 3 to both parts here, or I can just divide both sides by 3, which I'm going to do first. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 here, and I'm left with 3's cancel. 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to 18 divided by 3, which is 6. From there, I subtract a 5 to both sides, and we have a 2x here is less than or equal to 6 minus 5, which is a 1. Then we divide both sides by 2, and well, we're left with an x is less than or equal to just a 1 half. Now I was going to double check one thing. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I want to make sure I have the right answer there. Uh, I thought, well, solution, but it doesn't really matter for you all here. The second one here, let's go simplify that. 2, or solve it, 2 times x minus 7 is less than a negative 6. Now what I want to do here, again, same thing, divide both sides by 2. And I have an x minus 7 is less than, 2's cancel here, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative Three. From there, I'm going to add a 7 to both sides. And I'm left now with an x is less than negative 3 plus 7, which is a positive 4. So now I want to graph each one of these individually. So with that, I go over here. I'm going to make my number line right there. I have, let's put a 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then negative 1 right here. On the top, I'll put the first one here. X is less than or equal to a one-half. It's equal to, so we have a closed circle. It's at one-half. I'll put right here. That's one-half. And it's less than or equal to that one-half. So arrow to the left. The second equation here, we have it at four. It's not equal to four, so we have an open circle at four. I'll put below. But X is less than that as well. So we have to go like this to the left. Now we have all the way to the left here, we have two different things. We have, well, the top and bottom, where do they overlap here? Well, they overlap, if you look at two, it only works for the second inequality, but not the first one. They only start overlapping on the first inequality, where x is less than or equal to one half. The first inequality, or second inequality, uh, equals the, has that same exact thing, but before, there's some other stuff that isn't on both of them. So what we actually have to do here, if I rewrite this, we have that one half going on here, and it actually is just a repetition of the first inequality. This line is where both the top and bottom, if we bracket it out here, top and bottom inequality graph here, but they both line up and are the same. So we have from uh, at one half, we have a closed circle, and then we go all the way to negative infinity. So if I want to write this in interval notation, I start with the left, negative infinity, and it goes all the way up to a one half, our highest value, but we have a bracket there because it's equal to. And there we have it. We have our graph here, which I can circle because I know it gets a little confusing here. There's the graph and here is our inequality, and that's how we solve that compound inequality. I hope you learned something here on how to solve the compound inequality with and. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.